As part of this topic, I'll cover how to take this course effectively to gain the skills required for the data engineering. The course is self-paced with reference material, course snippets and videos provided as part of Udemy. You have to watch the videos using Udemy platform. Uh, you can refer the material that is provided along with the videos and then you can take this course over a period of time to gain the skills required for data engineering. One can either use the environment provided by us or set up their own environment using Docker on AWS or GCP or the platform of their choice. Whether you use our environment or AWS or GCP, you might end up paying some money. Make sure you are clear about that. Uh, with respect to GCP, there is a $300 credit which they will give for a one year period of time. You should be able to leverage that and you can actually take this course without paying too much money by setting up environment by yourself. Even uh, if you end up paying, it will not be too much. It will be very minimal. Uh, we would recommend completing two modules every week by spending four to five hours per week. Now let's talk about freshers and experienced professionals. For freshers who doesn't have any experience in the past and if they are from computer science or IT background, to complete this course, it will take at least 160 hours. We have 40 hours of content to practice, understand and uh, review the concepts or the videos again and again. It might take 4x times, which means overall it will take 160 hours to complete this course. When it comes to freshers, if they have more time, they should be able to spend all the time for this course itself and they should be able to wrap up uh, within 4 to 6 weeks. Now comes experienced professionals. There are two categories of experienced professionals. First category is the data warehouse developers, ETL developers, etc. who haven't coded too much in their career. For those folks, it might take up to 120 hours to complete this course. When it comes to those programmers or engineers who have good programming experience, they might be able to wrap up this course within 8 hours. Now when it comes to the time, if you are an experienced professional without programming background, then you have to spend at least 120 hours to complete this course. By spending 4-5 to five hours every week, it will take almost 24 weeks to complete this course. If you are an experienced professional with programming background, you have to spend 80 hours to take this course you might be able to wrap up this course within 16 weeks. So depending upon your uh, experience, if you are an experienced professional, it might take anywhere between 16 weeks to 24 weeks to complete this course. It is highly recommended to take care of the exercise at the end to ensure that you are able to meet all the key objectives for each module. We do not have exercise for all the modules. We have exercises for some of the important modules. You should take all those exercises. You have to come up with the solutions for those exercises. When it comes to the support, once again I am reiterating, the support will be provided uh, via Udemy q and uh, We might not be able to provide live support, but we will try to answer as many questions as we can. The course is designed in such a way that one can self-evaluate through the course and confirm whether the skills are required or not. Here is the approach we recommend you to take this course. The course is hands-on with thousands of tasks you should practice as you go through the course. Not only practice, but also understand the concepts behind these tasks. If you do not understand the concept, I would recommend moving on and come back later to the topic. As you go through the course and complete more and more modules, some of the questions might get clarified automatically for you. On top of the thousands of tasks that are there as part of the course, there are uh, quite a lot of exercises as well. You have to come up with the solutions by yourself to ensure that you gain the expertise related to th that topic or module which is in the scope of that exercise. Make sure to follow the order we have defined as part of the course. If you skip, then you might lose the context in uh, subsequent sections or modules it might be a bit tough to follow and hence we don't recommend you to skip any topic or section unless and uh, until you are very comfortable with that uh, topic or section after each and every section or module make sure to solve the exercises wherever they are we have provided enough information to validate the output as well by the end of the course if you follow these things you can come to the conclusion that you are able to master essential skills related to sql python and spark I hope uh, the information is good enough. If you are interested, you can sign up for the course and uh, take the course to get the skills required for becoming a data engineer. They are nothing but SQL, Python and Spark. We'll be publishing advanced courses as well as we move along. That being said, I will also cover how to access the material effectively as part of the Udemy platform in some of the uh, topics as part of this section. Uh, make sure you follow those also so that you get best of this course.